Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Luna and today I'm going to teach you one of the best kept secrets to selling high profit margin print on demand products. And while everyone teaches selling low profit margin products like t-shirts, this is completely different and will guarantee you even more profits. This method is perfect for complete beginners. You don't need to have design skills. You don't even need to have a website and it will enable you to make thousands of dollars each month. It's selling print on demand jewelry with a supplier called Shine On. Plus they have two fulfillment centers, one in the USA in Florida and the other one in the Netherlands in Amsterdam. So you can literally sell to the US and Europe without ever stressing about shipping delays. Additionally, most of the jewelry retails anywhere between $49 to $72. The base cost is anywhere between $15 to $20. So this is giving you margins from $20 to as high as $50. So in this video, I will show you exactly how to integrate Shine On to Etsy so you can start selling today. The very first step is for you to create your Etsy store if you haven't already. You'll have to start with the registration, adding the email address that you plan on using for your shop. You can simply open a Gmail account, your first name, your password. Now, as a heads up, I'm only going to walk you through the high step level of what you will need to include in order to set up Shine On with Etsy, but I won't go into greater detail simply because I don't want this to be a two hour video and I'm sure that you do not as well. So now we are inside my dummy account and what I'm going to show you is the settings that you need to set up before setting up Shine On. So you're going to go under your shipping settings right here and you're going to create a profile. In this case, I've already created it. And this is very important. You absolutely want to copy this shipping profile. So country of origin will be United States. If you're based in the United States, if you are anywhere else in the world, I would stick to United States. If you are in Europe, you can put country of origin Europe because you probably want to go after European uh, demographic. The origin zip code is the zip code right here. Processing time, you're going to put custom range. You can put anywhere between two to four. During the holidays, I recommend that you increase that a little bit simply because there's more orders. So sometimes it can take up to three days. Next, as far as United States, so you're going to do um, USPS free shipping. United Kingdom, it's going to be other two to five free shipping European as well, simply because this is shipping directly from Amsterdam and then everywhere else. So this is up to you whether or not you want to sell to Australia or other countries um, five to 15 days. You can turn that on or off. Um, it's really up to you. Now you'll want to go ahead and save this profile. The next thing that you want to do is you'll, you don't necessarily need um, a banner right away, but what you do need to do is ensure that you include all the pertinent information um, that is needed as far as like frequently asked questions, etc. Next, you'll want to go under finances, make sure that you have your payment account, your payment settings and all that set up simply because if you don't, Etsy will ban your account. And lastly, you'll want to go under listing and you'll want to create a dummy listing. All you have to do is add a listing, add some photos that you can just screenshot and that is it and go ahead and publish it. These are the only requirements you need to set up your Etsy store. Obviously ensure that as you progress and start uploading listings that you fill everything out because it's important for Etsy to know that you are not a robot, you're not a scammer. So vital for you to include a banner to have a professional looking Etsy store. However, when you're just setting this up, go ahead and just do the bare minimum. Once you start uploading, go ahead and go back and add all the required elements to create a proper storefront. Next, you'll want to go to shineon.com. By the way, all the URLs that you guys need are in my comment section. They are affiliate links, but they help me overall with running the channel and my free Facebook group. So you're going to do start selling today. And my recommendation is that you use the exact same email that you've used for your Etsy account. Now you're gonna go into your dashboard and you're gonna do connect new store. You're gonna connect to Etsy 
and then you're just gonna grant access. Then you're gonna go under account setting, ensure that you include all your pertinent information. This is for Shine On, so essentially they know exactly where to bill you and also so they have all your card information. So every time that you get an order, they will essentially charge you the base cost. Make sure as well that if you are in Europe that you upload a W8 or a W9 if you are in the USA. This is simply for tax purposes. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our first product. So all you have to do is go under all products, then you're gonna create new. You're gonna select uh, products, by the way, these this is not their full catalog. So you might have to search like the love knot, for instance, is one. So let's gonna we're gonna go ahead and create that. So here you'll want to go ahead and upload a file from your computer. So you can easily do this on Canva, creating a 1080 by 1080 message card. You can also do it with Photoshop if you know how to use Photoshop. In this case, I'm just gonna add a mock-up, a fake mock-up, if you will, just to show you how this works. All right, I'm gonna do continue to product assets. Uh, by the way, if you're doing Etsy, make sure to remove all these images. Uh, these images are essentially for folks who are who have a store on Shopify. Then ensure that you're adding a title that is SEO friendly. Um, I'll do another video about this. So to my daughter, love not necklace gift uh birthday gift or whatever the occasion is etc and then you're gonna go ahead and select a shipping template in this case default shine on and you're gonna go ahead and publish it so now it's gonna create a link for you and what you're gonna have to do is go back to your etsy store and go ahead and publish it all right so once the link is created we're gonna click it to go to the shop manager Here we are inside the shop manager. Um, make sure to fill out all the listing details, et cetera. Uh, change the description accordingly, add tags, et cetera. Then ensure that the pricing works for you. Default shipping. Then you're gonna go ahead and click publish right here. Congratulations, your listing is now up. Remember, overall, to stay competitive with Etsy, you'll want to ensure that you upload anywhere between 10 to 50 listings to get started and more as you progress and start getting data. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn all the latest tactics to growing your online business. See you next time, bye.